Hi everyone, welcome to Wish Problem. So in this video, we will be looking at M1 matrices challenges. So this is the third part of our part one textbook. So let's begin with first challenger question. So the question says four minus three and two sixteen. This is equal to matrix of four minus three two and two to the power. So this is a given matrix, and we have to find this T. Okay, so T is the power for it. Now you can see that equality; it is equal. So this is called as equal matrix. So equal matrix means whatever the numbers are there here will be the same. So now four, four minus three minus three, two, two, but sixteen. So this two power T will be equal to sixteen. So Write it as two power t is equal to sixteen. Now we will express the sixteen in the terms of two. So two power t is equal to two power four. So therefore, uh, if bases are equal, powers are also equal. So powers. So t is equal to four. Now we will see the second question. Now in second question we will see. So in second question they give two matrices questions. Okay. So there a is equal to five six seven eight and b equal to a uh, three two one zero matrix of three two one zero. Here what we have to find is first bit is a minus b. Second bit is b minus a. And also we should show that a minus b is not equal to b minus a. So we can we can prove right using this problem. So let's start. So first one we will do first subdivision. A minus b. So a minus b how we will do is first put the square mat square bracket that means matrix. Now how you have to do a minus b? So this is a matrix. This is b matrix, right? So five minus three you will do. Clear? So five minus three. Again for six, six minus two. Then for seven, seven minus one. Eight, eight minus zero. So I think you understood how simple it is. Just subtract from this. That's it. Okay, simple. Now, if you take this a b, so like that a minus a like that you can do it. Now, so now as it is, how you will do normal subtraction in such a way? Five minus three is two, and six minus two is four. Seven minus one is six. Eight minus zero is eight. That's it, right? First bit is done. Now, what is the second bit? B minus a. So b minus a is not equal to a minus b. So that we all know, it's like a closure property, commutative property. Now, now first you have to subtract this. Here just the scenario is ulta. So for just three minus five, then two minus six, one minus seven, zero minus eight. Equal to now same as usual integer subtraction. Three minus five is minus two. One minus seven is minus six. Two minus six is minus four. Zero minus eight is minus eight. Do you find differences right? Both are not same. So hence this is proof. A that is a minus b is not equal to b minus. Now we'll see the third question. Now we'll see the third question. So we'll write the given data. So two matrices are given. Okay, they are equal matrices. Three x plus two y, six, two, and two x minus three y is equal to. What is given means five six two eight. So this is the question. Now just now in the first question we discussed about equal matrices as you all know. Like this equation will be equal to this six is six two is two and this one will be equal to eight. So with this we can understand right. So 
first we'll frame our first equation that is 3x plus 2y it will be equal to 5 such a way just equal to equal matrix that's why I wrote okay fine now this one 2x minus 3y is equal to 8 same way now this is fine for you right so this one we will take it as equation 1 this one we will take it as equation number 2 now for first equation we will multiply with 3 okay so 1 into 3 we can multiply with any number because we have to find x value and y value right so x comma y is equal to what okay so for that we can multiply with any number like it should come some number some same thing we have to bring out there we have to cancel and finally find the one two values for that 1 into 3 so first equation with 3 will when you multiply so 3 into uh, 3 is 9x plus uh, 3 into 2 is 6y right so that means and 5 3s are 15 now second equation we will multiply with 2 fine okay so second equation 2 into 2x 4x minus 2 into 3y 6y equal to 2 into 8 16 now here we are going to subtract so plus 6y minus 6y cancel. For bringing one thing in common, we have to multiply with two now, different numbers. It's, a not, it's not a problem, it's correct only, okay? Now, 9 plus uh, 4 is there, right? It is 13x equal to 15 minus uh, 16. It is going to be, sorry, we are adding up, right? So 15 plus 16 is going to be 31. Now, x value we can find here. Easy, right? So, x is equal to 31 by 13. Because this 13 will go to RHS. That's it, okay? That much. Now, if we want to find the y value, what we have to do in any one of the equation, whether this or in this, we have to put x is equal to 31 by 13. Then we can find the y value. I am putting in equation number 1. So, it is going to be 3 into 31 by 13 plus 2y is equal to 5. Fine. Now, when you simplify all this, 2y is equal to uh, 5 into 13 by, sorry, 5 into 13 by 93. 93 means this 31 into 3, I multiply, that's it. Nothing new there. Now, what we have to, sorry, sorry, here not multiplication, subtraction. Because when you multiply, it will be 93 by, 93 by 13. So when you send to RHS, it will be surplus, no? So it will become minus there. So until here, I think you understood. Now we have to find the LCM for it. So when you find LCM, LCM is uh, 93 only. And it is 465 by minus 13 by 93 clear now now what we can do is uh, this one will is there no when you subtract 2y is equal to 452 by 93 and the y value is going to be 226 by sorry sorry yeah, we are going to send this, right? So, it will be into 2 here. When you transpose that time, it will be 226 by 93. So, with this, we completed the first one. 226 by 93. Okay. Now, we will see the next one. Let's do the fourth one now. So, here in this question, A, is, A value is given. Okay. So, A value is... Uh, 2, 4, 5, 6. Okay, this is the A value. And B value is also given for us. That is nothing but Y, X, 6, 5. Okay. 
Now here in this question, it's a simple only. Just we have to find the values of y and x. That's it. Okay. So as you we all know that that means this uh, this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this. So y value is two and x value is four. That's it. If you want, you can write some explanation that uh, uh, that uh, a equal to b. They have given in question. Okay. So you can write that as a and b are equal matrices. We can find that. y equal to two and x equal to four. So simple. This statement, if you want, you can write or else not necessary. Up to here is enough. That's it. Okay. Now we'll see the fifth one. Now we'll see the fifth one, which is a different question. All these challenges actually. So p equal to what they have given minus three, five, my four and minus two. And We have to find the value of q. So don't be tensed, Ma. We have to find the value of x. How could I find? Don't be tensed. They gave one more criterion. By that only we have to find. P plus q is equal to zero. It seems okay. So now we'll assume. Let us assume q equal to matrix of A, B, C, D. We'll assume because we don't know the values of A, B, C, D, right? That's why. Right. Now p plus q is equal to zero. One criterion is there, no? In that we are going to put the values of this. First, put values of uh, value of p. That is three minus three five four and minus two plus q value is a b c d as we assume. You should write that only. Equal to zero. Now what it will be? Simple. Now minus three plus a. Addition. How did we do uh, subtraction? Same way. Addition. Like this one with this. Add like this. Five plus b. Four plus c. Two minus two plus d. So let's do that. Five plus b. Four plus c. And minus two plus d. Matrix equal to zero. Now this matrix. Now how it is means zero matrix when it is. It is like this. So this full equation is equal to zero matrix. When you have only zero, you can put zero 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 zero. It is a zero matrix. Okay. So now how you can do this mat? This one will be equal to zero. 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 So each and every equation we are going to equal with zero and find the value of A B C D. That's it. Simple. Okay. So minus three plus A equal to zero. Then what is the value of A? It is three. Five plus b equal to zero. Then value of b is going to be minus five, isn't it? Now, c. It is four plus c is equal to zero. It's going to be minus four, and d equal to minus two plus d equal to zero. So that one will be plus two. So matrix is in form of like this, right? And remember one thing. All questions are like this. Means matrix format is not like that only. It can be A B like this also. It can be A B like this also. It can be like this also. It can have more numbers here, more numbers downwards also. So don't need to worry about it. No, and also don't think only four numbers should be there in a matrix. Okay, here we are learning basic, so it is only square, square, bad uh, matrix we are taking. Okay, that's why. Now, how the format is going to be like this, right? So it is three minus five minus four two. Put it in a square brackets every time because that is the rule of matrix. If you don't put, you will lose your marks. Now we'll see sixth one, last one. Now sixth question is also like fifth one, but here two matrices they have given one more matrix we have to find. That's it. So simple, right? Just now only we saw that question. So one is a is equal to one two three four. Simple questions only they gave, and b is equal to two four. Uh, 
of 3, 5. Okay. Then we have to find X matrix. One more matrix is there it seems. That matrix we have to find. So criterion again they gave. Like previous one we had P plus Q is equal to 0. Here it is A minus B plus X equal to 0. So every time like two questions continuously we had equal to 0 means every time it need not be 0. Okay. So that one also we have to learn. Hmm. Now this one. First, I'll explain the criterion. A minus B equal to X. Sorry, plus X is equal to 0. Oh, why don't I think of sending plus X to RHS? We will think. So, that one will be A minus B equal to minus X. Right? So, keep this equation in mind. This one. Because we are going to use this and do. Huh? Because we are not going to use this because it's a... Lengthy stretch, it will be difficult for us to do. So, we will use that. Okay. Now, A minus B. So, A minus B will be, um, first 1 minus 2, 2 minus 4, 3 minus 3 and 4 minus 5. Right. How I explain is same way I have done here. So, no need to explain so clearly again. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and, and uh, here 3 minus 3 is 0, 4, 4 minus 5 minus 1. So A minus B value we got it right. Now keep it to a side. Now we have to find minus X. So a minus X will be minus 1, minus 2, this one. Minus 1, minus 2, 0, minus 1. How, how it is x you will say minus how it is minus x because oh sorry x i just now wrote the equation as a minus b equal to minus x so if i find a minus b it is equal to minus x simple so therefore answer is found but we have to find plus x no so just reverse the signs all signs are going to be reversed so x is 1 2 0, 1. Because you can't write minus 0, right? So, such, that's why 0 itself. We'll keep with this. We completed our challenges. Now, let's move on to packages that actually they are really simple. Only two to solve. Thanks for watching our video. Bye. Do like, share and subscribe.